everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Natalie and my channel is all about luxury, vintage, fashion, and styling. So if you're interested in any of those, please consider hitting the subscribe button below. And today I have a quick little The Row Park Tote first impressions for you guys. So this beautiful bag is actually on loan right now from Rebag. I really appreciate that they um, loan me some items and bags specifically so I can really get a feel for them and give you guys my honest like views and opinions of them. This video is not sponsored. I do not have to post this or say anything about them, um, but I just like to do this. I think you guys enjoy this too. So um, I hope I can provide you a little bit of information if this is a bag you are considering. So this is the small park tote by the row. It comes in three sizes. So this is the smallest of the three. There's also a medium and a large size. And this particular version, the small one, retails for $13.50 US dollars. Um, the medium is around $16.90 and the large is $23.50. So um, incremental price increases, of course, with the increase in leather used to produce them. And the sizes are like pretty large. So the large is very, very large. I have seen it on other people. I will insert a picture. Um, but this is the smallest one, which is still like a very roomy and a good size. So um, just for reference, you can see, because this was kind of the things that I was wondering when I saw this bag um, from afar. So it does have a good structure on its own. It sits up by itself. Sometimes these can just like smush down. And I think that over time, it probably will get smushy if you don't have some sort of insert to kind of help it keep its shape. Over time, it will soften because it is a nice soft leather. The row leathers are beautiful. Um, I have the half moon tote that I filmed a review on that I'll link below if you guys wanna see that. That one is beautiful quality as well. I find that the row has very nice quality bags and the price is actually surprisingly a lot lower than some of the other luxury brands. So they're definitely a brand I would say to check out, especially if you're into that quiet luxury trend that we're hearing all about. Um, after Gwyneth Paltrow's kind of style has been going around. So it's definitely that quiet um, luxury. It has the row written here very subtly. No one would know unless it's like, it's like if you know, you know kind of brand. So very minimal design. There's not a lot of bells and whistles to this. It's really just a nice bucket tote. This strap, as you can see, is not adjustable. And it is one large compartment, no pockets. It is suede lined and it has a tie here to tie it up. And let me just show you, I know you guys can't see it off camera, but let me just show you if I am like tying it up, how much it closes. So as you can see, if I tie it up, it closes pretty well. I mean, obviously if you dump it, something would still fall out. It doesn't completely close at the top, but it is nice that it has a little bit of a security option. Um, and I will show some cutaways of how um, it looks on my frame. But if you can see here, it just kind of barely sits under the shoulder. I'd say if you have coats on or heavy winter gear, this will probably not fit over your shoulder. It'll be a little bit more crook of the arm or handheld. The larger sizes for sure you can do over your shoulder with um, a coat and thing like that. So something to keep in mind, just depending on where you live and how you want to use it. Um, this definitely has plenty of room. Um, it can fit all your essentials easily. I love this kind of style bag for day to day. I just find it so easy to just like throw and go. I will say though, obviously the suede is going to be delicate. So if you feel like you throw a lot of things in, you know, it'll get damaged over time if you don't protect it or use some sort of like insert for it. Um, and something I was just wanting to see, here's my iPad Pro. I just want to see if that fit just for curiosity. And it does, but it kind of misshapens it. I would not store it in there and it sticks out. So just for size reference, you guys can see the small one. It could probably fit a small water bottle in as well, but I will say if you put something too heavy, it is going to misshapen. So it is on the softer side, it is not that structured. So I'd say especially probably the larger ones too are gonna lose structure even quicker. So just something to consider if you are like a more structured bag person, maybe this isn't the style for you, but um, it is very beautiful. I find the quality is very soft. I love this like forest green color. And if you can find the row on resale, so this was 
for um, around a thousand ish dollars, a little bit more, maybe 1,090 on Rebag. So you can get a little bit of a discount if you can find it pre-loved. Um, but there's honestly not a ton of the row bags on pre-loved just because they are newer. So people aren't necessarily like selling them immediately. Um, and because they're popular, people tend to buy them quickly. So um, if I can find any available right now pre-loved, I will link them down below or anywhere I feel like you can get a good deal um, on brand new ones. I will put that down in the description box below, but I do think it's a beautiful bag. And if you are looking for a designer bag for a little bit more of a budget, I really think you can get a lot of bang for your buck shopping the row bags. So I do think they are a nice purchase and I would personally, I would purchase this bag. Um, I don't know if I necessarily have a need for it in my collection at the moment, but maybe, and I would probably look into the medium size too. The large looks very large. I think for my petite frame, that would probably overwhelm me. But I think a medium size might be nice as far as when my son's a little bit older and I don't need to carry my diaper bag anymore for him. I have can like pare down what I'm bringing a little bit more. I think that would be like the perfect mom bag. So um, yeah, and, and if you really do want a luxury designer bag for a baby bag, you probably could get away with doing the large size one and like get an insert for it to use it that way. But I would say because of the delicate like suede lining, it's probably not the best choice. It'll probably, especially with the soft leather too, like get beat down really quickly if you are using it like in that type of way. So just something to keep in mind. But anyways, if you have any specific questions for me, please leave it down in the comments. And one final thing I didn't mention, but I do want to mention is it does not have any feet. So something else to consider if you're putting it down a lot, it is going to start getting corner wear and wear down to the bottom. So just something to note. Um, it's not necessarily a deal breaker on a bag for me personally, but it could be for someone else. So just keeping that um, in mind. But yeah, if you have anything else, any comments, questions, um, if you want to see me style it, head over to my Instagram. I'll put it up on the screen. I share all my daily outfits. Um, really helpful styling tips. I do a ton of shopping stuff in my stories, all the links when I find great deals or amazing pre-loved or vintage bags that are available. I always put them in my story. So check there. And until next time, take care. Bye.